guys so today i'm doing another what i eat in a day video i have the day off from work today so um i'm kind of mostly just going to be lazing around my apartment and getting um a couple of errands done maybe it is about 8 30 in the morning and i am starving so i'm about to go make myself something eat. so for breakfast i am having a bowl of fruit which is clementines strawberries and blueberries and i've been doing this a lot lately because i don't I don't like having a super heavy breakfast, um, but in addition to my breakfast, I'm also having a cup of Earl Grey tea, and if I don't um, eat at least a little bit of something with my tea in the morning, then I get like really nauseous from the um, from the tannins. So I've been lately doing like a like little bowl of fruit with whatever I can find um, to go along with my tea. I also try to always take a probiotic in the morning, so I'm doing that as well. So it's around 10.30 and I'm just feeling a little bit snacky while I'm getting stuff done around my apartment. So I'm going to eat a couple of dates and some roasted salted peanuts. So it is lunchtime and you guys are probably going to think that my lunch is pretty weird. Um, and the reason being that it is both waffles and bok choy. Um, and I am certainly someone who, first of all, loves salty food, um, but second of all, loves waffles. And I also, you know, want to get my vegetables in all the time, um, and I love vegetables anyway. So I made some stir-fried bok choy with uh, garlic, some um, dried chilies and Sichuan peppers, and a little bit of salt and oil, and then I made cinnamon waffles with some vanilla protein powder um so it's kind of like a makeshift recipe for waffles that i just added protein powder to because partially i'm trying to use up some protein powder that i have that i don't really use that often so i'm trying to find recipes for it um and the other thing is that um if i just had waffles for lunch it probably wouldn't be super nutritionally complete so i put a little protein powder in it I just tried the waffles and they're pretty good. They're very fluffy. Um, they didn't get quite as crispy as I would have liked, but I think I probably could have just cooked them a little longer. Along with my lunch, I'm also continuing to drink this tea. Um, so what I'll normally do is I'll just keep refilling the cup with hot water until I'm pretty much just drinking hot water and it's not tea anymore. And then I'll um, make a new cup of a different type of tea. So snack number two for the day, I just got home from getting some groceries and I found these like rice puff cake things and I just had to try them. So I definitely think that I'm like a very snacky kind of person, especially when I'm not at work because I'm just sitting home or like running errands and things and I just get bored and eat a little bit, which also means that when I am home I sometimes like intentionally have smaller meals because I know I'm going to snack more than I would when I'm actually at work. Um, though I do snack at work as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm. this is snack number two, but we will see how many more there are. Snack number three is a spoonful of peanut butter. It's actually a lot of peanut butter. I probably won't eat all of it right now. So it is dinner time. I am super hungry. And so what I made was french fries, tofu fries, and some oven roasted broccoli. So basically what I did was just cut up potatoes and tofu, both in like fry shapes, and put them on my oven tray along with my broccoli, and then seasoned it all with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and let it roast until it's all golden brown and delicious. Um, and then I was going to eat it with ketchup like a normal person, um... But I forgot to get ketchup at the store, so I made this peanut sauce that's just peanut butter, soy sauce, gochujang, garlic powder, and a little bit of lime juice. So I only used half of a potato, so this is actually not like a super lot of food. I used half a potato and half a block of tofu, so it was like a good amount of tofu, but I only had half a potato. Um, so I imagine that you will see me eating something else soon. Because, um, yeah, while this is delicious, it probably won't fill me up for a super long time. Okay, I can't not mention this. Um, this broccoli turned out so crispy and so good. Oh my god, I just love broccoli so much. 
I also thought I'd let you know I am on to my next cup of tea for the day. Um, this is a green tea that my friends actually got me when they were at like a tea plantation. So it's like hand picked and like hand um, laid out flat. Um, and yeah, it's really good, but I'm running low on it, which is really sad. Um, especially in the winter, I just kind of always have a cup of tea on me. Also in the summer. I really love tea. <laughs> So it is 9.30 and it's about time for my last snack of the day. I generally will go to bed around like 10.30 or 11. Um, my last snack of the day is going to be a little bit of this um, Carrefour dark chocolate orange. Um, and a favorite snack of mine that I haven't had a long time but reminds me of my childhood which is um, celery sticks and peanut butter. Um, yeah, I, I just bought peanut butter today. I've been out of peanut butter for like a solid two or three weeks, and so now I've just got to indulge myself a little bit. And of course, since it is late, I have switched to decaf tea. So this is sleepy time tea, so hopefully gonna help me um, get relaxed a little bit while I do hopefully just a little bit more work and then head off to bed. 